You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Rhodes, let's talk about Bronny James, man. Yeah. Yesterday, and people were talking about it in the chat. Bronny James actually ended up um, having a cardiac arrest at summer practice, summer workout for the uh, USC uh, Trojans because he's, he's actually going to be playing there. Uh, hopefully, he's able to play this fall, okay, because the updated status is he's doing better. Don't know what actually caused him to have cardiac arrest, but we found out something yesterday that was pretty shocking. This ain't the first time it's actually happened with a USC basketball player. Because a year ago, another player at a USC summer basketball workout collapsed also with cardiac arrest. Bronny James's teammate. What are the odds, Rhodes, that this would happen yet again that's, at USC? No, nobody pre- knew about pretty this. Pretty strange. Pretty strange. Yeah. Nobody knew about this because nobody was talking about athletes having cardiac arrest until DeMar Hamlin, Monday Night Football in January. Nobody was talking about it. We said that was probably the most public thing that all of a sudden right. made everybody stand up, pay attention. Holy and crap, it, what's going on? This is a world-class athlete. I, I and it started I, I, working look, because you, you started getting all these stories about these athletes collapsing. Well, and I know, I know what they said happened to him, but, I mean – I think that's a little odd that to this day Michael Strahan sat across from him and point blank asked him something and he said, No, nah, I'm not comfortable saying. Yeah. Well, eventually he minute. came out eventually he came out and said it. It was um Comeo Cortis, but Comeo Cortis, yeah. But why would you have an issue saying those two words? That's a thing that does happen. Yeah. So why was that co- so controversial when you were asked the question point blank? And that don't make clip, sense. Then on, on that Neil clip, with, yeah, on that clip with um, Michael Strahan, it was edited because after he said that, it cut to another clip. So we don't know the follow up. Uh, Michael Strahan actually said, did, "Did he ask why don't you want to talk about it?" But anyway, man, after Bronny James' story got out there. This actually came out here. This actually says what happened to Vincent Imuchukwu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correct. Bronny James's USC teammate also suffered cardiac arrest. This was a year ago, and the circumstances seem to be very similar. I mean, almost to the date, Rhodes. Look at this. It says this is the second straight year in which a USC player has suffered cardiac arrest. Trojan center Vincent Imuchuku went into cardiac arrest during a summer workout on July 1st, 2022. Same month. Cardiac arrest. Hmm. It says, but he managed to recover and rejoin the team last season, which is good. In in coincidentally radical radically restrictive California just pointing that out yeah that's interesting yeah. uh, but we got details on this one here it says Imochuku was performing well during a summer workout but USC assistant coach Eric Mobley noticed something looked off when Imochuku grabbed the rebound with less force than usual as players took a break Mobley called overhead coach Andy um, Enfield to alert him that Iwuchuku uh, didn't look right. Quote, I sat down. I just got like super dizzy out of nowhere. I was about to uh, drink my water and I was like, bro, I'm so dizzy. Iwuchuku said, and bam, that's all I remembered. After Iwuchuku collapsed, USC trainers uh, John Yonamin Aaron uh, Tillman and uh, Lauren Crawford immediately responded, deploying the um, AED and administering uh, CPR. Mobley um, remembered, I'm sorry, um, Mobley um, repeatedly yelled, 
had uh, Iwachuku, who later recognized the seriousness of the situation. Uh, quote, I started hearing um, Coach Mobley's voice like, get up, Vince, get up, Vince. Don't dial me. In my head, I was like, don't dial me. What does he mean, don't die? So I'm like, I got to get up. Uh, Iwachuku uh, did wake up after the shock, and he was moved into an ambulance. He was hospitalized for a few days, but there was no clear explanations for the incident. Really? It was described as a freak accident similar to DeMar Hamlin's episode in the 2023 NFL game between the Bills and Bengals. He later had an implantable uh, cardio verter defibrillator uh, placed in his chest to regulate his heart rate. Early on in his recovery, Iwachuku wondered if he would ever be able to play basketball again, but he wasn't ready to let the game go. He did months of work with the training staff, and he was ultimately able to make his USC debut in January 12th. Uh, in a 68-61 win over Colorado. So very similar to DeMar Hamlin as far as him getting back to playing again. What are your thoughts on that, Rhodes? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm glad to see the, the kid come back. My question is, what happened? <laughs> I mean, I know the article said similar to DeMar Hamlin. Well, wait a minute. Did this guy have a... A, a literal physical force to the chest? Did I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, you didn't it say did, that, didn't right? Say that. Okay, it did not well, say that. okay. So, because we saw no, it, Demar Hamlin on the field, that was contact, and then he got up. Normally, by the way, he just dropped. By the way, that wasn't. We don't talk about this either. That wasn't a spiked hit on Demar Hamlin. No, no, no. That no. was a textbook tackle. It was a clean, is what clean it was. hit. Clean hit. Yeah, yeah. And and the 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 helmet did not drive straight into Hamlin's chest. It was no. a turn like that. And I watched that replay a hundred times just to see if I could. It was a normal tackle. It wasn't oh, really it, that hard. No, no. This guy doesn't sound to me like he he went up for a rebound, but it doesn't. It doesn't sound like he took any, any kind of a blow to the chest or anything like that. So, you know, what caused his heart rhythm to all of a sudden get out of line to the point that he had to be, they have to put a, what, a defibrillator? Is that what they called it? A card, card, yeah, uh, it was cardo, some kind of thing. Card, cardo verta defibrillator, I think is what it is, yeah. which regulates the electricity in your. Um, you got a plumbing side to your heart and you got an electrical side. This is mm -hmm. the electrical side, most likely. Yeah. So And this is happening all in young athletes. That's the most baffling part right there. Very confusing. I mean, look, we we started seriously doing the sports thing August twenty twenty, and there was a massive gap in there and we didn't hear anything about any of this. No. You, you want to know the last you know? time I actually heard about a player really having cardiac arrest before this year? You got to go all the way back to Hank Gathers. Really? That was like 30-something years ago. Maybe there was another athlete out there that had cardiac arrest, but I can't think of it. Um, Definitely not on this scale right here where you're seeing it multiple people a month. At least. Yeah. Well, there was, I mean, it was caused by cocaine, but the only other one I, I could think of was Lynn Bias. Yeah, that was Lynn Bias, you know? yeah. And it was cocaine related. I mean, it, it, it he had a heart attack or, or a cardiac arrhythmia associated with that, and that's what put him down. But yeah, you get the point. I mean, it, 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 there was drugs involved with that. You know right. what I'm saying? He had a problem, man. Lynn Bias, man. They were talking about, man, he could have been an all-time great. Oh, shit. They, I, remember, I he, he, got, he got drafted, and he never played a game, I believe, because he had died, like, what, days later? The world <laughs> stopped. I remember that. When it yeah. happened, that was as about as much as, as, as the world could get taken over by a sports story back then was and some people are bringing up Reggie Lewis. I'm a you know a Celtics fan. Yeah, Reggie Lewis back in the day. Yeah, Reggie Lewis. Uh, I can't 
what happened to Reggie? I can't remember. I, can't. I don't even really remember now. Uh, Probably got to lift that up. Yeah, sudden cardiac death at 27 years old. Oh, okay. Sudden cardiac death. I'm wow. looking for his actual. But still, he Reggie had a Lewis large was, heart. Oh, okay. Now, Reggie Lewis was, but like I said, Reggie Lewis was, what, 30 years ago too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. God, man. that I can't even believe it's been that long, but yeah. Yeah. Man. All right. Um, Rhodes, what wow. else you got on? Yeah, I'm going to tell you how weird this is. What? <laughs> Reggie Lewis died uh, in, 19, in July 27th, 1993. Tomorrow will be the anniversary wow. of Reggie Lewis dying. Isn't Man. that weird? God, yeah. that's weird. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.